A different kind of road construction is underway in a stretch of Brighton Boulevard as crews make it smarter. I'm Alan Janay. Great to have you with us right now. CDOT wants to test some new technology that will give the agency and police more information about cars on the road. This is a look, though, at the kind of roads we may be driving in the future. Our Mackenzie O'Keefe is covering Colorado First at noon. We want to show you. She joins us live from Brighton Boulevard right now. And this kind of takes the technology, Mackenzie, off the drawing board. It is, Alan. This has been in the work for quite some time now. And this is the first time ever that this type of technology that's new for roadways will be found in the road itself. And crews out here are putting on those last finishing touches, the last two panels. And once this is all complete, that means it is time to test it out and see exactly how it works. Now that everything is just pieces away from being installed, vehicles will essentially be linked to the road itself. Each piece of pavement out here has state-of-the-art technology inside of it. There are some sensors on each piece that collect important information about the road. For example, when someone drives over it, it can tell the weight of a vehicle, how fast it's going, and really how many cars are on the roadway. Now, all of the data out here will help CDOT understand traffic patterns here and how the road can be improved for drivers in the future. And while it's all great for those transportation officials, the smart road will also be useful to drivers. Eventually, the data from the system will feed into navigation and mapping uh, applications so that you can have better real-time information about traffic, about routing. It's, I mean, the job of a DOT to, to save people's lives and to make their lives better. And, you know, this is a great opportunity for us to use technology in a new way to do just that. Another neat feature is safety. The technology itself will automatically alert 911 the second that a crash happens out here, so that will be important for first responders. CDOT says if everything goes smoothly with this, they hope to bring this technology out to US 285 where there have been some major crashes and problems for drivers. So, Alan, this is something we could see more and more here on our roadways in the future. We're live in Denver, Mackenzie O'Keefe, covering Colorado first. Really interesting. Mackenzie, thanks a lot for that look. This 